The checkmate was funded privately without support from the Russian government, but reportedly had support from a foreign government which one source close to the military stated was the United Arab Emirates. The fighter has the potential to be a major success on export markets with over 300 expected to be produced, and is considered a natural successor to the widely used MiG-29 which can also replace older fighter models such as the F-16, MiG-21 and MiG-23 many of which are expected to be phased out of service across the world from 2025 to 2035. A look of five most outstanding characteristics of the Checkmate fighter which could make it attractive when marketed for export is given below, reported Military Watch magazine. One. R-37 missile. The R-37 is the fastest and longest-ranged air-to-air missile in the world, and at Mach 6 it is on a very few missiles of its kind that flies at hypersonic speeds which reduces the response time of enemy aircraft being targeted. Originally developed for the MiG-31 Foxhound heavyweight interceptors of the Russian Air Force, the missile has since been miniaturized and forms a second generation of post-Soviet long-range air-to-air missiles to succeed the R-77 which in turn had been developed as a successor to the R-27 of the late Cold War years. While most Russian fighters still rely on the R-27 which is the country's most widely used beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, the Checkmate stealth fighter will reportedly rely exclusively on the R-37M for beyond visual range combat, with the fighter's powerful AESA radar allowing it to guide the missiles to targets up to 400 kilometers away which is the R-37's maximum range. Two, stealth. As a fifth-generation aircraft the Checkmate is being built as a stealth fighter, and while placing less emphasis on a reduced radar cross-section than US or Chinese post-fourth-generation aircraft it is still expected to have a lower radar cross-section than any other class of Russian fighter. The fighter has a single angular air inlet under its forward fuselage which is reportedly a diverterless supersonic inlet. This will not only ensure the provision of a steady airflow to the engine across a wide operating envelope while avoiding complex mechanical systems and controls, but it will also help to block the engine fan face from radar waves from most angles. Paired with R-37M missiles and a powerful sensor suite, including an AESA radar which will reduce the fighter's radar signature significantly, the Checkmate will be a difficult aircraft to lock onto and will be optimized for very long-ranged kills. Three, low maintenance. Single engine fighters have generally been prized for their low maintenance requirements with one of the Checkmate's most attractive features being its much lower operational costs and maintenance needs than the Su-57 and likely even the Su-30 or Su-35 from the previous generation. The Checkmate's design will be particularly attractive from a maintenance point of view for countries which operate or intend to operate the Su-57 fighter due to the commonality between them particularly for their engines. Operational cost represent the large majority of a fighter's expenses over its lifetime rather than acquisition costs, so making the Checkmate relatively cheap to operate will likely be key to its success. Ease of maintenance also allows operators to maintain high availability rates for their fleets, with more maintenance-intensive fighters being much harder to keep combat ready. 4. Supercruise and supermaneuverability. The Checkmate fighter's reportedly impressive flight performance will be a major factor in its favor, with the fighter reportedly having a supercruise capability allowing it to fly for long distances supersonically without using its fuel inefficient afterburners. This is a feature its competitor the F-35 notably lacks, and the new stealth jet will be one of very few with a single engine capable of doing so. This feature has only been integrated onto modern fighters much more recently. The Checkmate will also reportedly use a three-dimensional thrust vectoring engine, although it remains uncertain whether this will be integrated onto all variants due to its cost. This will provide extreme maneuverability, and is currently used only by the Su-35, Su-57 and the Chinese J-10C fighters. 
5. Short Takeoff, Short Landing Upon entering service the Su-57 was hailed by Russian media outlets in particular for its ability to operate from short runways, in contrast to Cold War-era heavyweight aircraft such as the MiG-25 which required very long runways for takeoff and landing. The Checkmate is thought to be able to operate from even shorter landing fields than its heavier counterpart, which could be extremely useful when facing enemy attacks on one's airfields. Like all post-third-generation Russian fighters, and particularly medium and lightweight aircraft built for deployment closer to the front lines, the Checkmate will almost certainly be designed to operate from austere airfields which Western fighters would be unable to use. This represents a potentially decisive advantage which is vital to keeping the fleet operational and able to fly in the event of a war. The countries of the Middle East, Southeast Asia and Latin America have shown interest in Russia's newest single-engine fighter jet, which was unveiled at the International Airshow MAX 2021, said the CEO of the United Aircraft Corporation. The new single-engine fighter is based on stealth technology and is equipped with onboard compartments for air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weaponry. The fighter will carry a payload of over 7 tons and will be able to strike up to 6 targets at once. Russia's new fighter aircraft integrates the latest technologies in the manufacture of military aircraft. The aircraft can be customized due to the open architecture feature, which helps to install equipment from different manufacturers on it. The plane was designed from the start to use nearly the entire range of air-launched weapons, including future weaponry, the head of the United Aircraft Corporation said. The Checkmate drone modification will be popular with customers, he said. We believe that the unmanned version of the Checkmate fighter will be popular with customers as it will help increase awareness and survivability of the combat system and provide opportunities to use new tactical methods, said Slyasar. <laughs>